Hi, good day. Let us learn about the human breathing system. In my previous video on human breathing system, you learned about the essential parts of the breathing system and their functions. Now, you are ready to learn the mechanism of the lungs and the diaphragm. In this video, you will be able to explain how the lungs work and describe how the movement of the diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs. To explain this mechanism, I will construct first a model of the human chest cavity. The materials needed are the following. Empty plastic bottle, balloons, sturdy straws, beer of scissors, glue gun, and a cutter. Just follow the procedures in constructing already constructed the human chest cavity model, observe the balloons inside the bottle as I pull down the larger balloon and as I push the larger balloon towards the bottle. Let us answer the following questions. What do you think does each part of the constructed lung model represent? You are correct. The 2 liter plastic bottle as the chest cavity, 2 straws as the bronchi, 2 balloons as the lungs, and the larger balloon represents the diaphragm. What happens as I pull down the balloon at the bottom of the model? You are right again. The two balloons expand. Why? The air pressure inside the bottle is lowered by increasing the space inside the bottle. The outside air then enters through the tube which makes the two balloons inside the bottle chest expand. What happens as I push up the balloon? That is right. The two balloons loosen up and return to their original size. The air pressure inside the bottle is increased by decreasing the space inside the bottle. The inside air then exits through the tube, which makes the two balloons inside the bottle return to their original size. How does the movement of the diaphragm cause the air to go in and out of the lungs? That is correct. The movement of the diaphragm affects the air pressure inside the chest cavity by either decreasing or increasing the space, thus allowing air to go in and out of the lungs. And what might happen if you prick the balloon? 
If one of the balloons is pricked, it will not inflate anymore because the air will escape. What you observed a while ago is the same to the mechanism of the activities of the lungs and the diaphragm. When you breathe in or inhale, the diaphragm contracts. Inhaling moves the diaphragm down and makes the size of the chest cavity larger. At the same time, the ribs move up and increase the size of the chest cavity. There is now more space and less air pressure, called intrapulmonic pressure, inside the lungs. Air pushes in from the outside where there is a higher air pressure. It pushes into the lungs where there is a lower air pressure. When you breathe out or exhale, the diaphragm relaxes. The diaphragm and ribs return to their original place. How about the chest cavity? The chest cavity returns to its original size. There is now less space and more air pressure inside the lungs. It pushes the air to the outside where there is a lower air pressure. That is all about the mechanism of the human breathing system. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.